Hey channel, this is Sheila Cahoon with MI Local Realty. I appreciate you coming back every week to check out the videos that I post. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a new video, which is every week. Recently, I had the pleasure of interviewing Felicia Marshall, pictured here. Felicia is an amazing RN. She's the owner and operator of Best Choice Senior Placement. So the next topic we're going to talk about is um, family involvement and um, when when is the decision that usually happens? When when's, when does it usually happen when people decide to go with you or contact you? Um, is it usually mm -hmm. the family member? Is it usually the client? Um, you know, and what point of their journey are they contacting you? So we work with a lot of family members. A lot of our clients are uh, unable to make their own decisions anymore due to their illnesses. Most of our clients have Alzheimer's and or dementia, um, and they're not able to say yay or nay to whatever it is that's going on with them. So we work with a lot of um, kids who maybe have power of attorneys or, or guardianship over their loved ones. Um, and they are in search of a place for them. Um, we get a lot of uh, reaching out when things are starting to come down to the wire. So um, people who are maybe leaving out of rehab, oh, sorry, leaving out of rehab and um, families just not able to take care of them in the home anymore. They went to the hospital, they left the hospital and went to rehab and they're not the same as, you know, before. Um, so that's when we get a lot of phone calls or messages on um, Facebook here about, um, is there any place that we can take our mom or dad or loved one? Because um, we're not able to care for them in the home anymore or they're, they were living at home on their own before they got really sick and now they're not able to do that. What are our options? So we do get a lot of those types of questions okay. reaching out. And what do you think um, that future clients could do or future patients or future family members? Basically, what do you, what can people do to um, navigate this part of their, their loved one's journey better? Um, mm -hmm. You know, is there, is there, is there one thing or a couple of things that they may be able to do to maybe make it easier, the transition easier or, or, you know, things like that? Yes. Yeah, so I, um, strongly recommend people get a DPOA, durable power of attorney. So your family members, when they are still lucid and able to make their wants and needs known, to really go ahead and, and put together a durable power of attorney. Because when that time comes when they're not able to make their own decisions and somebody has to step up to the plate, then that paperwork will always, already be in place and it will name who it is that that, that elderly loved one would like to speak on their behalf. Um, I see a lot of people scrambling. Um, mom or dad's in the hospital, they didn't name such and such, you know, they have more than one child. Who is supposed to speak on behalf of this person? And then what are their wishes? Do they wish to be hooked up to machines or do they just want nature to take its course and for them to transition naturally? Um, these things, I've seen a lot of families going back and forth about it. Um, and if the person is able to tell you their wishes, um, get those things down, document it, and then respect the wishes and, and follow through with them. Yeah, I, I feel like um, estate planning is a very crucial part um, of, yes. of life. Um, and my husband and I have, have done that in our family, and we have a young son, um, but we've already taken that step to do that because we don't want any questions lingering if something <laughs> God forbid were to happen to either one of us. Um, and, and I agree. I think that power of attorney, estate planning is the most crucial part that you could, it's the most important part okay, in, in your journey as a parent. Um, mm -hmm. it makes sure that your estate is in order before things start to happen to you. You know, if you start to forget things and, and stuff like that, that things are all lined up and ready to go. So, yeah, I agree. Okay, so in terms of power of attorney, do you have um, somebody that you recommend that you have worked with in the past? 
Yes, um, there's an attorney down in Centerline, Michigan. Her name is Kimberly Lubinsky um, of Bieber and Lubinsky, and she does um, estate planning, and she's awesome. So right. we definitely um, will refer her to our clients. Wonderful. That's great information. And, and I will make sure to have her information in the description below. So that way, if anybody that's watching this needs a uh, power of attorney um, or information about that, they can contact her. Thank you. Well, um, you can reach us at 586-648-6165. Uh, um, that's our office number, but it comes directly to our cell phones. And I speak of our, meaning more than just me. It's my husband also, Willie Marshall. Um, he's a certified nursing assistant and has worked um, with elderly um, individuals. So our love of our elders is why we are in this business together. So. Um, you can also reach us on our website, bestchoiceseniorplacement.com. Um, it's just our plain little website, but you can reach us there. There are forms and things to fill out on that. Okay. And um, we're on Facebook, too. So um, Best Choice Senior Placement, you can search us that, that way or at Best Choice MI. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I do appreciate your time today um, and let your husband know that I do appreciate that he let, allowed you to have some time <laughs> away um, this morning to be able to do this interview. It was so very educational for me and I hope people have found great value in it. Um, if you have found value in this interview with Felicia, please make sure you comment below and don't forget, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. Have a great day. Bye.